Toots, happy die. What's the third one? I don't know. You know, um, um, forget your troubles. Come on, get happy. Is the Judy Garland and who? I think it's happiness, happy days, happy times. Happiness, happy days, happy times. That? I think, I don't really know the song that well. Mm. Like I, I know of the song, but I I don't know it well enough to uh, to, to uh, verify the lyrics. I feel like I've seen so many queens do it at shows. Misty Misty um, Misty and Mocha used to do it all the time at their show. Also, suddenly Seymour and is this part of the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> who, who else does it? Suddenly Seymour and Jackie Cox were they a duo? Do you remember? No, you wouldn't. Um, hello, Bob the Drag Queen. How are thou? I'm well. Um, I drove back from Santa Barbara today and uh, I feel pretty good. I had a great day. I started watching. Um, what did we start watching? Babe? Severance. Well, you can't talk if you don't have a microphone. <laughs> Severance. Um, I started watching Severance today. Yeah. Um, which. It's a slow start, but I um I, I'm I'm getting into it. It's one of those Apple TV shows. I I think it might be. I don't know. I'm not sure. And it's a guy that you you can like. It's a show you can choose to leave your work self at work and your social self. Yeah, you, split, you split your consciousness. Work interesting. Yeah, I can watch it again tonight. <laughs> then you leave here. Well, honestly, I wish I could do that for Drag Race. I wish there was a way to se- to separate my Drag Race self and just that live in its own world. And I'll tell the Drag Race to be, I, I was, sever me, honey. It's not ethical. That's what, that's, what we're, that's what we're discovering on the show. It's not ethical to do that. Is it not? Um, Why is it not ethical to do that? Because there's one person whose existence is just working. It's nothing but working. They wake, They work every waking hour for that for that person's existence is work. But if you make that decision for your life and your body, your choice, bitch, it's my it's my decision for me. But you make it for yourself, but you don't. But you can't make it for the for the new consciousness that isn't existing yet. So you can't really make that choice for the new consciousness. You're making it for them without their consent, and then that person is. But it's still you. It is this. Well, this is this is the conundrum. This right. is the conundrum of the show that people are finding out. Like, what's the deal? Is this bad or is this good? So what's really bad or what's really good? Well, what is really good is season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, and today we're talking about the realness of fortune. I really feel like they missed an opportunity to call this episode the Willness. That's a much better name, in my opinion. Well, I think it's always tying back to RuPaul, the realness, the song, the realness, the realness of fortune. It's always well, and the, also like a willness, ballroom culture. The Willness is tying it back. I to get it. it. It's a pun. It's, it's a. Yeah. I get it. It but serves the same. It serves the same purpose. I get it. But Ru will work an R. And a song title is anything if it's the last thing you do. Well, well, the song is called The Realness. What they, right. So what, they, what they're actually doing is a before and after. The yeah. title of the episode is a before and after. Mm-hmm. The Realness. and But then they're doing a, a, a rhyme before and after. So it's, instead of The Will of Fortune, it's The Realness of Fortune. But The Willness is just, in my opinion, it's just such a better title. It's so good. The Realness. And it's episode three of All-Star Season 7. And this is, I will say, jumping right in, I was gagged that it was a design challenge. I knew that it was, because in All-Star Season 4, we did not do a design challenge. I love. You had like two or three this season? We had two. So when we start by episode three and I saw a design challenge, I was like, oh, God, they're really trying to get wild with motherfucking legends. And here we go with this designing shit. Well, they pushed it up for this all-star. They added a design challenge and they didn't do a makeover challenge. Um, which, which sucks. I wanted to. They they should have instead of having two design challenge challenges, they should have had one design and one makeover. I would have loved to do a little makeover challenge again. I mean, I don't mind to be honest. Like, I think it's okay to shake up Drag Race every once in a while. Sometimes they shake it up and it's not great. Like, I didn't love uh, Snatch Game of Love. I hate the Snatch Game of Love. But I didn't hate it, but I prefer the regular Snatch Game. I, I really it. enjoyed how they switched it up this time with the two. Um, so, I, you know, I'm cool with them. It's been, it's been, this is a very long running show. They, they, they RuPaul just announced getting renewed for her 15th season, which is so funny because, like, no one thought the show was going they just announced it online. It's like, have you seen these announcements? What always happens now, but they're, they're already filmed for the season 15. But it's so funny they announced it as if anyone thought the show was getting canceled. Like, bitch, we've been thought the show was getting canceled. They, they announced casting like 
<laughs> they announced casting last year. Because also, if they did not get renewed, then they would then right now the network would be trying to shop around the episode, the, the season that they've already shot. They'd be like, Fox, you want it? ABC, what about you? To the highest bidder. Do you remember when it was going to go to? There was a brief Comedy Central. No, there Spike was a, TV. No, let me. There was a moment Watch in time where, where it was going to go to some other network, and it was announced it was going to be behind this paywall. And then everyone freaked out. And then it went back to VH1. I cannot remember what it was. No, it was not a paywall. It was it was, it was a cable paywall, not like a um, subscription based paywall. But it was announced. I think it was Showtime or something. There was some. It was like oh, uh, All Stars Five was going to be on Showtime. That was what it was. Yeah. And it was it was I remember because it, it was announced. It was like and we might be wrong. Y- y'all might want to fact. It was. I'm no, sure that was that, that's correct. All Stars Five was going to be on Showtime. And they announced it, and then everyone freaked out, and then it went back to Viacom. That was great because it was announced. Well, I think Showtime the is under was Sh- Sh- uh, Showtime is under Paramount, so it was under the same is company. It? it was going to be under a different one of the one of the things yeah showtime is under paramount i don't know i'm pretty sure is show or uh, viacom it was other Vi- whatever paramount whatever they were no, before uh is what is paramount plus and no, it, uh i don't and i definitely don't think showtime is, is viacom i think it was well viacom doesn't, doesn't doesn't exist anymore but i don't think it was anyway it doesn't matter but i I don't think it was though. They were under the same subscription. It's owned by Paramount. Yeah, Showtime is owned by Paramount. So it was it was going to be under the same umbrella. It was just going to be on a different one of the different net- networks. Well, they moved it, honey. They they got switched and flipped and turned and they're probably looking for a way to make Showtime pop. And I mean, Showtime has things like the shot, the shy, and all those other dope shows. They're probably like, hey, come on, come on over. Listen, Drag Race is one of Paramount's fucking money makers, bitch. RuPaul's face when you put on the Paramount Plus app, RuPaul's face is on every fucking uh, little. Ch- uh, button you go on in that thing. Showtime has Z-Way as well. Um, she's a, she's Z-Way's on Showtime. Yeah, that's Showtime has Z-Way. Yeah. Yeah. Paramount. Uh, Ooh, Paramount. Oh my God, Z-Way, we're, we're, we're Paramount girls. Um, so Shay walks in um, after being blocked um, and then she decides to gaslight <laughs> the cast and tell everyone that the uh that the plunger has some sort of a secret meaning which i think is very funny i think it's a very funny bit did everyone believe it and how long do they really believe it yeah everyone really believed it everyone because again because it was it was a legend season and it was very smart of shade to do so and because you didn't know what was going to happen and um everyone believed it and i think how long did y'all really keep it because it, it goes on until uh, visually it goes on up until Roger. every time someone came in that was that was real. Like up until like oh, Raja, everyone was like, "Yeah, girl, Raja, it's bitch." Like everyone kept it going until Raja found out. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't anything weird. Did you notice that RuPaul's still wearing a Vanjie necklace? RuPaul is obsessed with Vanjie. He fucking loves Vanessa Vanjie. Have, have you watched her dating show? I have not. <laughs> it is. Well, I think I've talked about her in the podcast, so I won't keep going. But it is. I haven't finished it. But what I watched was wow. I was like, this is wild. <laughs> But, they, but they're still dating. They're still in love. Are they? And they filmed it a long time ago. So they are. They're they're posting together. Work. It in their face. I, I mean, I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Vanja hung out with her since. So. So you think they fake? I mean, she she was on your show. Did you ask about it? I didn't because the show hadn't come out yet. I didn't even know about it. No, the pit stop. The show hadn't come out yet. It was airing. It wasn't. Was it? Yes. Uh, well, she didn't mention it. I was talking, uh, she wow. Was, so, you don't, so you don't you don't support your sister? You don't watch any of her content? I didn't ask. I just told you I watch your content. You said you haven't watched it, actually. I'm, I'm asking you if you don't if you don't support her. I, I, you just said you don't support her. You haven't watched it. So it does not does not watch me. You don't support her. Yes. So then you don't support her. Yeah. Work. I hate Vanjie. Work noted. She's my least favorite um, drag queen. And she was talking do about you. Do I hate Vanjie? Well, I, I watch more of her content than you do. Which, which, That's for sure. Oh, because because you, you just started watching it. Mm. Yeah. Work. I think all you're doing is incriminating yourself <laughs> for hating Vanji. Um, but anyway, so I didn't ask her, but I did ask her about Love Island or Love. No, uh, uh, All Star Shore. All Star Shore. All Star Shore. Vanji is on Sony Paramount. She would have worked. Well, 24 hours of 24 hours of love is not. It's wow. 24 hours of love. It is on Well Presents Plus. Yeah. Um, but I just love that she's still wearing that. Um, that she's still wearing that uh, that bandy necklace, and then they do the uh, the mini challenge um, where you are playing a hung man, hung man, and Jinx wins and does not win anything. In there, okay, in Paramount's wow, who's who's ever defense? They give us a lot of money in different things, like in many challenges on the show. 
they, which they didn't show on air, they would like give us. You guys all did such a great job in Snatch Game. Here's the extra thousand dollars. They were giving. They were giving us money. So uh, they were like, y'all, y'all are good. We just gave us some extra money for good Snatch Game. Y'all fine. So I think that's why. Is that how they said it? Yes. RuPaul was like, y'all niggas good. Oh my god. Have you ever heard RuPaul say that anywhere? I have. I. I had to have like it doesn't I don't remember why do you think you why 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 you have because, to have heard RuPaul because we because like RuPaul would like banter and say like silly crazy stuff like when we like when we would play RuPaul loves playing games we would play hang uh not hangman um dirty charades and I, I remember one time when we played dirty charades in this when we, we played dirty charades when we were waiting for <laughs> Naomi Can you tell them what dirty charades is? dirty charades is like uh they would it, it's it's like regular charades but just like dirty nasty things like instead of like it would be like like porn names and shit like that. For, for, for Dirty Charades, I think, if, if my memory serves you right. That's how Dirty Charades is. How is it? Dirty Charades is you you say a, a title of something and then you make it dirty. Is it? Yeah. Well, we will play Dirty Charades. And when we were waiting, because we had to wait a little bit for uh, Naomi Campbell to get ready to do. Like if you say Fifty Shades of Grey, which is already dirty, you'd make it Filthy Shades of Grey. Or Make America Gay Again. Make America Great Again would become Make America Gape Again. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Um, well, at least that's what that's what RuPaul describes their charades. Okay. Um, anyway, but when we were waiting for um, Naomi Campbell to come in, because she, you know, she's the diva. She she took her time to do her thing. RuPaul called her then word. <laughs> RuPaul, that nigga is late. Um, no, we played dirty charades in it, and I remember Shay. Shay, if you see this, remind me. Cause I'm sure Shay said RuPaul was saying something, and Shay said what you just called me, and RuPaul said nigga or something like that. I, it's like a vague memory. It's something like that. But I, I I think I've heard RuPaul say the N-word. That's I've what heard, I'm trying to say. I've heard RuPaul say the N-word. Yeah, yeah. On your season. No, on the phone. <laughs> on the phone, right before. Right before it's our phone. <laughs> um, anyway, so Jinx does not win anything, but, but they do announce that we are doing the Wilderness of Fortune cha- uh, ball, which is where you all, like, spin this wheel. Wait, this game, it felt like it went on forever. It went on way longer than y'all saw. We could not get what this, we could not get Vanna White Party. We could not get that shit right. No, not just that. I mean, the wheel part. So you do oh, the, yeah. you do okay. the Vanna White Party, and so, then you go over to the wheel. That game took long, guessing the fucking puzzle. And then, of course, Z, I knew Z was not a vowel. I just did not want to put more. I knew I didn't know it, so I did not want to put more letters on the board to get the person who was going after me to get it. So That's you, wanted the, you wanted the game to go long. Yeah, because I, I wanted to get it. I don't want someone else to get it. So I would never get the right. If I knew that I did not know what it was, I would not give a right answer because it would hold the next person. Duh. And then the wheel thing, the wheel is the same wheel that they use to choose people in lip syncs. Something about it was in balance. So we would spin it and it would land in the same spot every single time. And then we would have to like, it was Close the spot. Because also every time you take the things off, it would make the board unbalanced more. So it would like be heavier on one side. It went on for forever. Forever. It was ridiculous. But do, you know, the, do you know what that's from? Forever. I do not. The Sandlot. Oh, years. I mean, I haven't seen that movie in prop legitimately almost it's a thirty great years. film. Um, maybe not thirty years, but definitely twenty years. Um, I mean more than twenty years, probably twenty five years. All right, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um I so we so we end up at the end, um what we do end up seeing is that the Vivian wins fifteen hundred dollars. Making her the first UK girl to ever win money on yep. Drag Race. Blue Hydrangea. Blue Hydrangea never won any money. She won any money this season? Never. You cannot. Oh, no. The Lady Camden. Lady Camden's not a UK girl. Viv is a UK girl. She's from Drag Race UK. So Viv is the first Drag Race UK girl to ever win money on Drag Race. Or- Isn't that wild? And it's $1,500. The most of If you combine every other winner's winnings together... <laughs> <laughs> it will not equal the Viv's fifteen hundred dollars love. Um. Anyway, so, but then also everyone gets to, so all the colors that y'all are picking, they're like named after places, but you're really just picking a color. Yeah, just picking a the color. The Green Isles of Ireland. Ireland, but just it's just green. No, it was it was the Emerald Isles of Ireland. The Emerald Isles of Ireland and, and yeah. the Golden Pagoda of my and and Myanmar. I have to say when you when you when you when you when, you, uh, when you're picking these things, well, when you land on the thing and you get it, like you have no idea what the materials are going to be. You just literally it's materials, literally just the, girl. It's just literally the color. So if if you get gold, red, pink, blue, you have no idea what you're going to get. It could be all what you call the thing that is not fabric. Un un. It could be all unconventional. Actually, we knew it, it would not be that, but you. you no idea what type of fabric you're gonna you don't know get. it's gonna be stretched it's gonna be it's just a crapshoot yeah um 
but uh, everyone everyone got a lot of fabric. I mean, I actually, yeah. I actually, I really liked that they named it after the play. It was very Will of Fortune themed. It was actually very cute and charming the way that they uh, the way that they had um, the way they did. I thought it was actually really, really lovely. And then Evie lost all her money, which felt very sad to see. I know, I know, I know, I know. And then. And then so so after we all do that, and then we all um we all break into our thing with our with our materials to do our stuff. I, I'm always jealous of people that can sketch. I cannot sketch anything, and I feel like sketching something out would really help me hone in on a design what I want to make. Mm-hmm. But people who can sketch, I'm like, like you're getting your thoughts onto this fucking paper, and you can like actualize and visualize what the fuck you're gonna make. But I am not. I'm a horrible drawer. Can you draw? Um, well enough to sketch something. I, I used to I do can. a few sketches here and there, and I've had designers send me stuff, but they're not great drawings. But it really conveys what they're trying to say. Like it's not like it's not a piece of art. But there are some people who draw, and these Domino are Couture. Domino draws art. I'd be like, this is in uh, Pinwheel, 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 baby. That motherfucker can draw. I'm like, this looks uh, amazing. It looks so good. Um, and then there are also a few designers who just kind of draw it. It's like a, a little blocky figure. And I'm like, you know what? I get it. You huh? I, I you you gotten drawings from you huh? Yeah. I've never gotten a drawing from you huh? You just talk, describes it to me. Damn. And then I get I get what I get and I don't get upset Damn. when I work with you. I I mean, last time you you huh straight up told me she ain't having no time for me. I said, Oh my goodness. Drag her. To be fair, she was getting ready for all stars. I mean, she's getting ready for uh, not all. Not all stars. She's on season. She, she's on not all stars. All stars. Uh, season ten. Season ten. Confirm you are. <laughs> Hamasaki is on all stars. That was a. Hey! That was a. That was a slip of the tongue. Oh my god! I'm so excited to see her strong and flexible body on my screen again. First of all, anyone who knows, are you already won Drag Race? She's she's one of the winners. She is one of the winners. Yeah, correct. So that. she's she's one of the, she's the second winner to go back again. Yeah, there after is. BB. BB. After all of everyone from. Oh. <laughs> She's the Ooh, yeah, it's late. She's, it's she's late. When she's had the a long tenth, day. She she's the tenth all winner to come back. <laughs> yeah, when I had a long day, y'all leave her alone. Um but <laughs> all right, anyway. So what was this her sewing? Um pair, I don't know. They made it look on the on the show, it looked like Trinity was sewing way before anybody. Like like everyone was like, who's already sewing? I don't remember if that's actually what happened. I will say said. Trinity, Trinity was one of the first ones. Trinity like sketched her shit down and Trinity started making stuff immediately. Also, Trinity is a fast seamstress. She, Trinity is is a very good sewer. And Trinity is just, like this is what Trinity does at home. Trinity just she just has fucking fabric. She just makes gowns and dresses and cat suits yeah. and things like oh, all the little. It's it's great. Yeah, it, and what she made very was impressive. What she made was very, very impressive. But then also, so they're they're going through the thing, and then uh, Jinx is just uh, keeps stepping back and and hating her garment over and over again. <laughs> and then Trinity just immediately goes in as like, "What do you need? Can I help you?" You're like, "This is how she is," but there there has to be a small amount of strategy to this. I mean, maybe there is. I can't speak to that. We, we can ask her at the reunion. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but I. In every season of Drag Race, other with Trinity is how she's with everyone in the workroom. She's helping everyone make stuff, even when it's off camera. Like when she's back at her, back at the hotel, she's doing that shit too. So maybe there is some strategy to. I mean, it doesn't hurt to help someone, if, especially if that's your natural disposition. Well, tell her to Asia O'Hara at the, the uh, ball ball. Well, that's because um, Trinity. No, a, the, what was that? That wasn't a ball. It was ball. the last ball on earth. Last ball on earth. That, um, that ended up hurting her, didn't it? Uh, well, well, that's because Trinity is a better seamstress. Um. Yeah. So it it obviously does not hurt her, but it definitely if that's your natural thing and how you and how you operate, of course it's gonna help you. Okay, I have to ask you a question. Did everyone know about the alliance? Because it, yeah, you and Trina act like it's a secret, but then Jake just walks up and goes, "Oh, what's going on with the alliance?" That that shit tickled me so much. Well, you, Jinx, because you and Trinity are in the corner. Well, someone said that. Uh, I someone online said watching Trinity and Monet do an alliance. It's like watching kids play spy. Because <laughs> you and her were like whispering in the corner. Then Jinx was like, "Oh, what, what, what's what's going on with the alliance?" Well, I will say Jinx will always be lurking around in the back. I'm like, bitch, mind your fucking business. Like we'll be in one corner, and Jinx would, like Jinx would be in her in her in her mirror trying to find her eyeliner. For some reason, she pop up at Trinity Station looking for a glue gun. Bitch, you were just doing your eye makeup. Why you need a glue gun all of a sudden? But it wasn't just her because later on, when when uh, when J- when uh, when Trinity tried to recruit Shay, Jada walked over like, "What's this deal?" <laughs> <laughs> like it seems like like were y'all not gonna keep a secret when Jada walked in and said what I'm walking on an alliance everyone knew about the alliance like everyone 
knew. I don't know if it was because y'all. First of all, y'all were not good at keeping a secret because y'all also, was telling I, anyone who would listen. I whisper very. I, I feel like I'm whispering, but apparently people say like because my voice is low, it doesn't like you. The they whisper, it it doesn't sound like I feel like I'm whispering, but apparently it's not. Um, but I don't know why that shit tickled me. So was everyone like, why y'all doing this? Was, was everyone aware of the, this? No, no one said anything off Ex- camera. Jada and Jinx. No one said anything off camera. Everyone, no one. But I can say it because they don't show it. But at the end and end of the season, right before, like right at the end of the 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 talent show, when we all got back, all got back to the thing, and then I had already chosen Trinity. When I chosen Trinity to be in the top four, like we were all like Kiki and backstage, and I said something about an alliance. And then everyone in the room, t- I said, I said something about honoring my alliance with Trinity. And everyone, Raja, Evie, everyone turned to me and Trinity they're like, what? There was really an alliance? And it was this whole haka kiki kaka thing. And then um, and then I made everyone believe that Jinx was in on the alliance. Everyone And Jinx was like, Monet, please don't say that it's not true. And I was like, Jinx. I was like, Jinx, come on now. You know, Jinx, don't do that. And she was like, I swear I wasn't. Monet, please stop saying that. It was very funny. It was very cute. <laughs> it sounds like you're bullying. <laughs> was she like crying, crying? Oh, t- tears. That's that's horrible. She was crying. Are you no, being, she was not oh, crying. Oh, Jinx, I've seen Jinx. You, are you, you, Kiki. Ki, and one time, Jinx was crying um, because I told everyone that my la- that uh, my that my show in Pete Town was the last show I was ever going to do, and she literally started crying. And I don't mean like Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Ki. This bitch was crying, crying. One time, she was crying because me and Peaches Christ were just laughing in the dressing room. We were just laughing. And what's she crying about? I think she thought we were laughing at her, but we weren't. We were just laughing completely separately. And she started crying. Girl, I have friends who cry. You know, Mateo, oh, Mateo one well, time cried because Bob, we... you're also very scary and mean. Oh, that sounds racially uh, coded. Anyway. Yeah, racially. Do you think any white people are scary and mean or just me and the Yeah, you, the you ain't a stinky boyfriend. I get scared every time I walk up in this motherfucker. I'm just wondering if just the big black people are scary and you mean. And the little white Jewish guy. Both of y'all. Interesting. It's just that you hadn't expressed that interest about, that, about any other white people that I've ever heard you talking about. Now, so Trinity is said, so when you try to recruit, <laughs> watch y'all try to this way, when you try to recruit Jinx, mm-hmm. Trinity is like, Jinx has a plan, which is weird that she says that because you two had a plan the whole time. She's like, I see what Jinx is doing. Wait, she did, she, and Jinx has a little, has said, a plan. She said Jinx has a plan about what? She said, I don't know what the plan is, but Jinx has a plan. And she said it right. It was right. It was straight to camera. She looked right down the barrel oh, of the lens. Oh, yes, honey. And Jinx she, had the plan. She said, I know what Jinx is up to because Jinx didn't want to join your Jinx didn't want to join y'all's alliance. And then she was like, Jinx has a plan. And then Shay was saying that you were doing this to benefit yourself because Shay was like, oh, I know what's going on. Monet is the only one who has not been blocked that has a star. So this only benefits Monet. This doesn't benefit anyone else. Was that was she right? I think that Shay had some proofs in that pudding, and um, yeah, I was trying my best to like you use Trinity. I was not trying to use Trinity, but she was definitely a pawn in my game. Wow. I know. I mean, I, I obviously I did not want to get blocked, and I fit, and I thought like I thought the way that I was going about it was the best way. I was I was I was playing Jinx when we were doing our, our little make a moment. Trinity and I had our thing, so even though we didn't get Jinx into our alliance, I was like, but I'm still in Jinx's ear, like we painting. And I'm like, like very like fucking what what is uh, Scarlet? What you do a little finger thing? Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Is that what she does? Yeah. Yeah, so I was like doing that to Jinx, and I had Trinity, and I was trying to get Shay. We try, we try to get Shay in too, but Shay wasn't feeling it. Shay, I don't think anyone's feeling besides you and Trinity. It was just you, you and Trinity. That's all it was. I feel like, if, I feel like if we would have went to Evie, Evie would have been on board. Why did you go to her? I don't know. She was on the way. I was working my way through the through the alphabet. <laughs> Jada, Jinx, Shay. Shay. You didn't do Jada. Evie, Wait, you, no, Vivian. You, it was Shay first. You did about you were all out of order. Yeah, because it's <laughs> because it's it's the uh, North American alphabet. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got it. All right. So um, the first category is Van and White realness, and I really so I really love that reaction that each of you has when you come out and you see Van and White. I was gagged. That is my favorite. Was definitely Raja. Raja's reaction to Vanna White was just, it was very, very uh, adorable. Let's talk about uh, RuPaul's look. RuPaul Charles. Th- this looks similar to that. Oh, no, it's not. But remember Vanity Milan, Kimchi, 
and RuPaul have this similar dress. Remember when, Van, when Kim Chi did the first thing? I mean, thing Kim's uh, dress pink, that had, that had flowers. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Vanny Milan kind of did it on well, all Well, those are all con- body contoured flowers, though. They're, they're, their flowers follow the contour of the body. Oh, they did, they did, they did. Yeah. Um, RuPaul is cute. I love Kirby. Just, this is the bitch from um, Corolla DeVille. Not the bitch. <laughs> this is the bitch from Corolla DeVille. Um, and she was in something else. Yes. Yeah, she's in Barry. She's yeah. Very, she's very good in she's Barry. She's very good. She's very she's a such she's a really good actress. Love um, her. RuPaul's outfits though look like um Doilies though. I I can see Doilies. <laughs> D- pink Doilies. <laughs> Vanna White, look at how look at Vanna White. How old is Vanna White? Sixty five years old. She I've already looks looked it up. Amazing. Yeah, she looks amazing. Vanna White looks really, really good. Um, all right, let's go on to uh, all Jinx the coils. Jinx Monsoon. Let's go through uh, one by one. I, yeah. Her Vanna White look, it is very, she's very lucky that Vanna White showed up in black sequins. I know. Because otherwise, I would never think of Jan- Vanna White in black sequins. But Vanna White said, bitch, I wear black Vanna White called Jinx and said, what you wearing today? Honestly, girl. <laughs> and this also fits Jinx. This is Vanna White and Jinx. It feels very witchy. It feels very Jinx. And a- <laughs> Apparently it's Vanna White. Vanna White wears black sequins. Yeah, she did. She did it on that day. She said, "Bitch, don't come for me." Yeah. Um. And uh, her, she did. Uh, whatever happened to whatever happened to Baby Jane? Did I no? see. No, no. Whatever happened to Baby, Baby Jane, Jane Fonda? Fonda. There was. No, I see the ba- the. Oh wait, do you like the? Do you like, do you like the Vanna White? I like her Vanna White look. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, I see the um the Baby Jane. I don't I don't see the Jane Fonda part. It's Barbarella. I get it, but I and I know because of the gun and that, but it it still reads like ninety percent Baby Jane and like ten percent Jane Fonda to me. I see it; it makes sense to me. Like, is she she's doing the the flop the 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 ruffle sleeves and that, and then the leotard, and then the way it's structured the front, and the boots. It, it it actually works. I I see it work. I see it, and I think she looks really cool. Work. I like this look a lot. And then I like her. Um, how much did Trinity do? I don't know. I don't, to be honest, I don't know. Because she said it was held, held together by hot glue. I don't feel like Trinity would have glued this together. Yeah, I don't, I, I Trinity did help Jinx a lot, but I don't know like where Trinity yeah. ends and Jinx stopped. It looks good, though. I like this look. I like when she added this part, when she added the little, uh, the, the, eye, the eye mask thing. The eye mask, yeah. Yeah, it looks, it feels very uh, romantic. What do you mean romantic? Like, uh, uh, there is this, this this iteration of, of Roman Juliet when they do this thing and they added those it's like it's like a futuristic Roman Juliet and have these like little eye eye visor things. Oh, interesting. Or I I like this look. I think it looks really good. I was actually shocked that it ended up because we spent so much of the, of the episode talking about how much she hates this outfit and it came out and I was like this looks good. Yeah. Um, and these little appliques on the on the sleeve. I, I don't like, like that. I, it, it's not that I like it, but it's like it's impressive <laughs> that Jinx did it. By hot gluing it to her sleeve, I think it's impressive. Because sometimes if you if you glue something and it's if you glue something on stretched fabric when it's not stretched out, it will um, smush and you'll have this like spider effect leading from it, which is so. Which is I mean, spoiler alert: Jinx in the later episode when she tried to make her own outfit, she made it on this form, but she didn't give it a stretch and it ended up not being able to even get it past her legs. So I was like, Jinx wouldn't have the foresight to think to stretch it out before she glued it. I mean, now I look at it again. I mean, this. I would say I like this. I think that is good for Jinx, but I would not... If I saw this on the round, I would like, this is not a, a, a pretty outfit. Like, I... I I, I, I know. I, I, t- I do not like this outfit. I do. If I saw it, I'd be like, oh, she looks good. Work. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, she looks good. What do you spend on subscriptions each month? Most of us think we spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but... We actually spend close to the $200 a month. Girl, I am there. I have been that girl having all these subscriptions that are racking ra- Rack City trick, Rack Rack City trick. You have to check out Rocket Money. They help you manage and cancel subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about with just a tap. Sound familiar? That's because you've heard us talk about our favorite app, Truebill, before. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Truebill is now backed by Rocket Companies and just changed their name to Rocket Money. That's why this idea is ringing those bells. Why? Well, for one, Truebill has grown from a bill management app into a full-on personal finance empowerment tool that helps over 3.4 million people with budgeting, lowering bills, canceling subscriptions, and more saving each of their members an average of $700 a year. Bottom line, Rocket Money is everything I've loved about Truebill, but with a fresh look and a new feel. 
Start canceling your unused subscriptions and save money at rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. That's rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Or download the app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. A laser-focused lawyer, an undercover K-pop star, and impossible love. Listen to the comeback on Audible. Written by Lily Chu and performed by Philippa Su. When Ari comes home from a long day at her law firm only to find an unfamiliar, gorgeous man camped out in her living room, life as she knows it begins to change, especially when she finds out the man in question is Ji Hoon Chui, a.k.a. Min South, Korea's hottest K-pop star. No big deal, right? Follow Ari's journey as she's thrust onto the world stage, not as a competent, steely lawyer she's fought so hard to become, but as a mystery woman on the arm of a man the entire world claims to know. Listen to Audible now. Audible.com slash The Comeback. Monet, I am on the edge of my seat. Girl, my seat is dripping with sweat. If you're a fan of it, sushi is incredible, but gas station sushi, not so much. Finding the right sushi makes all the difference. And the same goes for finding the right doctor. With ZocDoc, you can find the right doctor for you in your network and in your neighborhood. One that makes you feel like you're in good hands, you're supported, and you're heard. Not like this podcast, Monet. Even if you're telling them about your mm-hmm. favorite sushi place. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun. Whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, get that mold you're checked out. You're laughing because of my teeth. <laughs> yes, you are. You're laughing because of my fucking tooth. Yes, you are. It just hit no, me. I, that no, just, it I just am. occurred to me. You're still making No, I life. am not. What are you laughing about then, bitch? Find and review local doctors. Read verified patient reviews from real people who made real appointments. Now, when you walk into the doctor's office, you're all set to see someone in your network who gets you. Go to ZocDoc.com, find a doctor that is right for you, and book an appointment in person or remotely. That works for your schedule, girl. Go to ZocDoc.com slash rivalry and download the ZocDoc app free. Then start your search for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash rivalry. ZocDoc dot com slash rivalry. Shady cool lady. Okay, now they read her for this Vanna White, and I know it wasn't... Like, read her? Like, read her saying, like, well, Michelle was like, girl, it's not Vanna White because she had the black hair, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, she's doing her take on Vanna White. And I get it. It's not a, an exact Vanna White replica. But I'm with Shay, bitch. I, I'm tired. Of, I, bitch, I play so many white ladies on the show. I was like, bitch, she's doing, like, a black Vanna White. And I, I'm into it. I think just one of my favorite It was looks. because her hair was black, she said? Yeah. Well, also, I mean, but everybody they, doesn't look good in that kind of hair. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, I did wear blonde hair on Drag Race one time. I hate the whole it. group had to wear blonde hair, and I was like, oh, sure, I'll wear blonde hair. And I hate it. I looked so bad, and I do, I do not have the, I don't have the skin tone for blonde hair. Um, it does, it just does not look good on me. Yeah. Um, I think she looks really good. I love um, it. Also, my question is like, but like, I, my, my question is, how, uncomfortable could it get if there were some white girls playing black? Like, if it was like nine of a thousand whoopies. <laughs> I mean, they, they would what, never, though. What is... Uh, they would never. They're, they're probably like nine of a thousand Beyonce's or Tina's or something. Yeah, they or, could not do nine of a thousand. You like, could do Patty LaBelle's. I mean, that's some black woman hair. That is black woman hair. But if you do like blonde, maybe they could pass with that. <laughs> I think Shay was great. And I, yeah, she looks I, really good. I, I love I her. I love look. this. I love it. I love it. Well, I think that people keep saying that's not Vanna White, but these are all probably based on some version of it. So, I mean, I, Vanna White's been on, Vanna White's bitch. done probably a thousand episodes of this bitch. show. So I, I cannot say with confidence that she hasn't, ever gotten that she hasn't like done this. this. Yeah. Because she probably has at some point. Right. It has not, does it scream Vanna White? No. Because Vanna White, I don't know if Vanna White normally wears her hair up, does she? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It seems like, it seems like every girl wears their hair down. When I, when I think of Vanna White, her hair is down. Yeah, I think and so, it seems too. like every girl, so maybe, with the exception of Shay, wear their hair down. So maybe she did this black hair down and it would have been like, boom. But yeah, she got, she got, not red, like saying like, you look bad. And like, girl, this is fucking incredible, but it's not Vanna White. It was that, you know? Yeah. She, um, she I, did the gold tooth fairy. So, the you know, my opinions also have changed from pit stop to here. I, when I sit with things a little bit longer, I I don't remember what I said before, but I know that I really like this gold tooth fairy. Only thing I wish there was more um, watches on the gloves. 
more watches they're coming to watches i feel like there's uh, there's more i see a few spaces in between and like, yeah. when i think about when i think about like um when i think about uh well they're covered in watches there's no space for more watches well maybe i've seen something different but i um i like this look long story short i, I like i like this look i think this is a good look and i enjoy it yeah i think i i, I think a go to the tooth fairy was good um I, I wish maybe the dress was a little more special for the gold tooth fairy but i love the fact that the wings are kind of like fucked up a little bit like this gold tooth fairy has been through some things i love her hair i love the gloves the only thing i would change maybe make the dress feel a little more special what do you mean special i don't know make, make, make it it just seems like a dress you got from a store which is fine but i feel like it being the gold tooth fairy make maybe there could have been more elements of like the gold that she's taken from these people in the dress as well as opposed to just because she has in her teeth she has in her hair she has some gold elements on the wings and the gloves and the wrench like the dress just feel like she forgot about adding the gold to the dress i like her um her uh look that she made in the workroom i think it looks good oh it, yeah it is it is reminiscent of her the her Havana White look. Season. Oh. It's, I was going to say it was reminiscent of the one she did last season. It is also reminiscent of that. But, I mean, I don't mind if people do the hits. Do the hits. Do the hits, honey. Do the hits. But it, look, it, it when I'm looking at them side by side, it doesn't not look like the Vanna White look. Like, it, they're different colors. Are they different colors? Yes, they are. What color is the Vanna White look? Pink. And what color is the other look? White. Got it. Um, But I still like it, though. That being said, I still like it. Yeah, I love I love the headpiece that she did with. It. I thought the headpiece was dope, making it it's like just like Tupac moment when when fucking Carson called it Tupac. That's, that's a Tupac head tie. I just, I just call it Tupac like fucking Carson Cressley. Tupac. Well, Tupac had a banana. This is a banana. It is a banana. She tied it into into make it look like a little headpiece for her thing. Oh, I mean, yeah, I would I would I wouldn't have thought it's, it's I wouldn't not, have thought Tupac. Did she say Tupac? Yeah, it's not a white bandana fabric, but it's the same. It's that same motif. But that's the, that's the, that same style. Is that what she said she was going for? Yeah, I think she. I think she said in her talking head. I'm pretty sure. Um. So you're going on one exchange. Why is this slit so high, bitch? Because I've gained weight. <laughs> this dress. Oh, did was, you just cut it? No, I gained weight, and it, it my ass got bigger, so the dress got higher. The slit used to come down to maybe like. You see where I, 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 oh, we can't show this picture. It would come down to like mid, like you mid high right? butt cheek. Huh? You didn't photograph this? No, I did not photograph it. Yeah, I, this this does not fit very. I was I was looking. I was it's like, a whore. I was like, this doesn't fit very well. It's I, I'm a whore. My whole ass was out. Well, the whole thing is it, it's, it's kind of ill fitting, but it was. <laughs> it like, was it? Yes, it was ill fitting. When I, it wasn't ill fitting. I mean, I I I, I do think that the slit was really high, but that was but the the, the top part I think looked great. It fits around the bosom, but around the middle part, it wasn't fitting very well. I mean, if, also, if you're, if you're gaining weight and things are shifting, the whole the whole thing, everything shifts. It doesn't just shift a little bit. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, let's go on to the, your next look. Bob the Drag Queen Elizabeth. I, li I like this look. I like it, too. I wish I would have done more paint, but I was yeah, like... I asked you, why do you do more paint? And then I was with you when you did the photo shoot, and I was like, add more paint. You kept being like, no. Because I didn't do it on the thing. And I feel like I didn't do a lot of paint because we only had 45 minutes to change. And I was like, if I do one more paint, it's going to take me too long to change into the next one. Well, Not even. We have 30 minutes. Between between Vanna White and, and uh, Before and After, we have 45. Between the before and after and the design challenge one we had 30 minutes i was like 30 minutes is not enough time and i wanted to do completely gold and stuff so i was like that's that's that that's a manageable amount of fucking um uh, um uh mirror on paint to get off i didn't use mirror i used uh, acrylic paint yeah i didn't I have just, acrylic i just paint. poured acrylic paint right on my head um and just and just kind of like tilt my head and let it drip down. I do wish there was more paint, but other than that, I really I really like that idea. I just wish it had more paint. Like, Michelle, a little later on at the end, the end of at the end of the episode, why I come back with a crown on my head? They didn't show it. Michelle was like, I liked it. It was just like missing something. It it, it needed like a crown on your head, maybe. And I was like, a crown on my head? Like just put a crown on my head? She's like, yeah, that would have really sold it. It was Bob the Dragon Elizabeth. I was like, Michelle. You know, like the queen, like, but the queen wouldn't wear a crown with this outfit. That's what I was saying. So that's why when I came back for critiques, I just put the just put the crown on my head. I was like, "Bitch, you happy with this crown on my head?" What no, this looks dumb. Crown? At the end of the episode, where would you get this crown from? I just had it. Am I? No, it was Jada. It was the one Jada. It's a crown Jada wore on her in her crown queen's look. Oh, got it. Yeah, that little one. Yeah, that's funny. And um. And the uh, Emerald Isles of uh, and uh, did I know you were doing this? I I, I kind of had a clue you were doing this. Doing what? The Bob Drag Queen Elizabeth. Did you? I don't remember. I had a clue because you were you're not good at keeping secrets. And my name was like being like my name was being weird. 
But I didn't. I never said I'm doing. Hey, I'm doing Bob the Drag Queen Elizabeth. You kind of did. Like Monet's like Monet's Monet's not gonna keep a secret. So I, I ended up finding out. But I think she didn't want me to find out. But I ended up finding out anyway. Like when I was leaving for the show. Before you left, I knew you were doing this. Okay. Sure. I, I mean, I don't remember when that was, but sure. It was before you left. <laughs> it was before you left for the show. So I was like, Bob, I'm, I was like, Bob, I'm going away on the show, and I'm doing, I'm doing a category about you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Like kind, that. kind of, in so many words, yeah, actually, yeah, in so many words, that's almost, that's almost exactly what you said. You're like, but it's a thing, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't want you to see it. Um, but I'm doing like a a thing, like a tribute to you on the show, kind of. It was kind of like that. But I didn't say Bob the Dragon Elizabeth. No, but then I found out. Got it. Through the grapevine. Because our, our friend, uh, my drag daughter, uh, Alfredo, made this. So Alfredo told you. I did not say that because I don't think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about the third one? The Emerald Isles of uh, Provence. I mean, Emerald Isles of, of Ireland. I really like this look. I'm very proud of this look. I feel like I look fucking hot. I'm giving a like what? disco diva. Why do you say it like that? I really like this look. Like, do you, do you get shit for it? No, I really like. No, this people, look. people, a lot of people were like, "Well, hey, bitch, you really redeem yourself." And I'm saying, yeah, I agree. I feel like I turned it out. I love. I think I look great. Those yeah. are Shay's shoes, by the way. Those are not my shoes. I was getting ready, and I was gonna put on something, something else. I was like, "Does anyone have gold shoes?" And a lot of these bitches have big feet. Me, Shay, Raja, Evie, Vivian, we all hover around the same size, like 13. Viv has a monster foot. Monster yeah. just seppy foot. You we all have around the same size. So we which we all like could like be like, bitch, you have a gold this and then the other. It was great. Um yeah, this looks good. I like this look. Why did you choose the red hair? Um Irish, black Irish. Because I am black Irish. What what does that mean? I'm black Irish. I'm a black person from Ireland. It's not what black Irish means, but what does black Irish mean? Black Irish, well, Jacob, what is it? Jacob can't talk. Um, Jacob can't talk. It drives people crazy. I'll Google it myself. I'll. <laughs> it's not just me. A lot of a lot of people are like, please. The term black Irish is something used outside Ireland to refer to Irish people with black hair and dark eyes. Work. Um, black Irish. Any Irish person who has black hair and dark eyes is black Irish. Work. Um, let's move on to Jada Essence Hall. From the house of Hall. She's an Essence doll. Um, I like her man of white look. It looks really good. I like all of these looks. And I cannot believe, I, mean, I want to do them, do them one by one. I want to just like gloss over them all. But I like her Vanna White look. It looks really nice and clean. Her bag lady in red look looks really cool. It reminds me of this lady who used to, uh, who used to ride the trains in New York City. We used to call her the Jamaican homophobe. <laughs> this lady, she used to ride the seven train. She might still be on the seven train. We call her the Jamaican homophobe. She was a bag lady. She dressed in head to toe red. I know her. You know this woman? Yeah. Head to toe red. She's a bad she lady. Also, also, she's been doing it for years. She's been she's been doing that that stick since I was in high school. And she would and she would she didn't she never asked for money or anything, but she would just get on the train with all her bags. And I mean everything is the exact same shade mm. of red. And then she acts really normal until the doors close. And then she will lock eyes with one person. She go, me don't like lesbians. Me don't like batty boys. Leave me alone. Me don't like lesbians. Me don't like batty boys. Get from around me. And she would do this until the doors open. Then she would stop and she'd be very chill. And then the doors would close and she would look at the gay person or anyone she perceived to be gay. And she would start over. Me don't like lesbians. Me don't like batty boys. Get from around me. I don't remember that part of her, but I do know the lady who dressed all in red. Well, maybe she, this is maybe this is the thing she adopted adopted over the years. Yeah, but the, had to stand for faggot. The, the Jamaican homophobe. I used to, yep. Anyway, I, used to, I mean, I don't know. If they call, I called her the Jamaican homophobe. Um, yeah, I love. I, I love my favorite of Jada's three. Three is her second look. I think the bag lady red is so smart, and she had like all these like little candies and things she plucked from the things and having it all made up in bags. And then I remember on the thing, uh, Michelle Michelle was saying something like, "No one has ever done thought of make doing this before." I'm like, Candy Muse was fully here in a outfit made out of bags. Yeah, I thought this, I literally thought the same thing. I think I said on the piss. I was like, mm. and also, uh, no, they had they had they had they had, they had a bag ball yeah. on Drag Race. So I was like, Michelle, what are you saying? Michelle, Michelle just be saying shit sometimes. I have, I have a um. On her, a, this was on her first season. That was Jada's season. Yeah, I have a little thing in my in, in the bathroom that says, um, "I have to disagree with Michelle." It's one of my favorite sayings from Drag Race. Who said that? Everyone, all mm. the judges always say, "I'm gonna have to disagree with Michelle." Yeah, I'm good, especially Ross Matthews. 
Ross, I'm going to have to disagree with Michelle Matthews. Um, and her black look is, uh, I cannot believe she made that there. It looks like something she, it looks so good. It looks so good. This hair that she's wearing is literally, is, is oh, I brought the hair that I'm wearing on Secret Celebrity Drag is the first episode. That's with the orange hair. Her hair is literally the mini version of it. It's like hers, mine is like the big sister. And hers is like the little mini one. It's very cute. I think Jada looks great. She made this all in the fucking workroom. Got it. She made this all in the workroom. And she did it. She looks great. She looks really, she looks expensive. She looks great. Yeah, I agree. She looks very good. Let's move on to Raja. Raja. Um, I liked Raja's... Um, um, Vanna White look. It is it is a very specific Vanna White, 80s Vanna, clearly. I think her Vanna White is the best one. It's I really good. I think it is the best. It was so... It is so good. I love it. I thought Roger did a great... Her Vanna White fucking turned it. Her before and after Olivia Newton-John, Waters, no. She did herself a disservice. No. No, 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 no. It did... No. No, no. And it's only because it's just a sand. It, it looks like a sandy. It's just, it's just, it's just bad sandy. It's all it's sandy. bad sandy with a with a mustache. And when we say bad sandy, we're referring to sandy once she becomes bad. Yeah, not it is a bad version of sandy. Yeah. Um. That being said, her gold look. Was I don't so care cool. what anyone says. This is the best look of the night. This look is absolutely. I. Th- this is why I think it's kind of it's hard for me to place her on the top because I do think. That her Vanna White was the best, and I think that her wellness look was the best. But I think that her before and after was the, was worst. the worst. Yeah, yeah. It was but really two bad. best and one worst. What is that? What is that? What is that? A six, six, sixty-six. But I don't know. I just really thought it was just like I just think this gold look is just so opulent and looks so cool, and she doesn't over busy the bottom because the top is so absurd. Yeah, so that's great. Raja's gold one was, and then she had those little, little those glasses that she made. It was very, it was giving very La Beja. It even kind of looks like the place that she's supposed to be representing. Yeah, like Myanmar. Yeah, it's yeah. Really cool. Raja fucking turned it. Um, Evelyn Oddly. Why is her hair red for for Vanna White? <laughs> what did y'all say when y'all got there? We all like red. <laughs> this is Ariel. This Vanna White look was it? I was like, what is going on? <laughs> this Vanna White look was insane. When Evie got that, I was like, girl, what, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> like, it is, it's Ariel. It's Ariel goes to the ball. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, it's not a bad look, but I just don't see how it's Vanna White. It's not Vanna White. Mama is not Vanna White. That being said, uh, Cardi I B. think Arthur. Cardi B. Arthur is probably my favorite before and after, like, that the I love it. This is great, and it had the I love when she revealed to the braids. Yeah. This is a and it has like this big the overcoat looks like a big cardigan or a big shoulder thing. This was a very, very good look. I love Cardi B. Arthur, that is so funny to me. Yeah, Cardi B. Arthur, is, I think it's a really funny take, and you get a little peek into Evie's fucking mind. I think it's really good. And her design one, um, it's not my favorite look. I, but I but again I would never wear this, but then I look like am I just too am I just thirty two and I'm just too I'm not cool enough to see how cool this is, you know what I mean? Like, do you I ever don't see think this? You're that much older than Evie. Evie is like twenty seven. That's five years. Five years is a big space of time between two people. Um, yeah, a lot so, of maturing can happen at that time. Yeah, or so immaturing. Um, so I yeah, I don't, I don't know if I if I just don't if I just don't see how cool this look is. I like it. You know, I it grew on me. I'm, it's really weird watching it a second time because some stuff that I didn't like before I end up liking now. And I think it looks really cool, actually. I like the head wrap thing. I don't love the cape. I kind of wish that the cape was like a uh, maybe like a peplum train or asymmetrical or something. But I actually, I like it. I do. My favorite part is the face skinny part. I feel like that looks very fashion. I li- like you can see that on bitch in, 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 in that in this new shit goatee and fucking ball mama doing. It'll be, it'll be some shit you see on there. You'll be like, oh, bitch, work. So that I can see. And um, and I do like this like dress, like having this full body stocking cat suit, having this like slutty dress on top of it. And isn't her face about that pink is very too? sexy. Her face what? Did she paint her face pink too? No, that's the, she made her face skinny. But isn't it, even the, the the negative parts are pink, right? No, I don't think so. She just has eye. Bl- she just has blush on. Oh, 
But I, I like this look. I think she looks really good. I really think it's really cool, to be honest. And I can, I can be honest with you. I feel I can be honest with you. Um, let's go on to uh, the Viviana. Viviana. Um, I don't. I wasn't getting Vanna White from Viv's first look. I mean, it wasn't giving me super Vanna White. But I mean, again, then again, I'm like, but Vanna White might have worn this. I this mean, is true. I feel like the only thing you really need to do to have Vanna White is, is have a gown and wear your hair down. Like as long yeah. as it's a gown and your hair is down, it's Vanna White. Like Vanna White wore a gown. But then again, but then again, I look at Evie's and I'm like, well, I guess it is more than just a gown with the hair down. But like a, a blonde sim- hair a with simple the gown with your hair down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. For her before and her Diana, Princess Diana Ross, I feel like it was missing the. It was missing the Diana Ross part. I didn't get the Diana Ross. I'm I, I I see I see where she's taking the iconic Princess Diana gown and making it into this cat suit. What what iconic Princess Diana gown? The thing the that 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 like blue thing with that white. I'm not familiar with uh, Princess Diana's um, uh, wardrobe decisions except for the wedding dress mm-hmm. and like maybe some suits she used to wear. So I don't have enough uh, cultural context to say whether or not this is a great Diana Ross. I mean, Princess Diana. And I think maybe the hair is Diana Ross. I, yeah, I think. But then I would have. I wish it was what? <laughs> is, is this hair? Is this, would Diana do her hair like that? And to me, it's, it's Diana more, did, it's Diana more did so that big, like. Diana didn't have that big hair. Right. But it was more so like not this. You know what I'm you're talking thinking, about? It you're was, thinking the Supremes. No, 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 no. I'm thinking the, the the side part, but it would be like the big fluffy hair. So it's it's not that to me. I think it's it's the silver of the hair is not given Diana to me either. Diana would be like that side part, but it'd be like whoosh, volume like that, as opposed to this like sculpted southern ga- pageant hair looking thing. Yeah. Um But her gown, I I re- what she made? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Only thing I don't like about it is the is the 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 bottom part being added on in a circle. The mermaid thing at the circle. Yeah, I yeah. wish she, I wish she had found a way to just cut it so that it actually all was like part of the yeah and then added a good day but uh from the knees up this outfit is she looks fucking stunning yeah she made a little headpiece too yeah i i absolutely love yeah viv it. looks beautiful viv's look it looks really good yeah and also her face what she is so good at makeup her face is so pretty and it fits her body really nicely i yeah. realized that she was the girl who didn't wear titties I think she she's not. She she Viv, Viv discovered a lot of stuff during this season, and I will say also that fabric that she that she has on is also so unforgiving. It shows like every like little like little bloop, 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 and it looks great, especially how she chose to rouge it and drape it. I'm really intrigued by girls who don't who who choose to not wear titties. You what? Like I, I'm, I'm intrigued by girls who choose to not wear titties. I, like, Why? Sometimes, sometimes it looks really good, and sometimes. I, I guess I just never, I always just put titties on. Candy if Muse, I if I don't wear titties, I'd be like, I need some titties on. Candy For me. Muse, Candy Muse open me up a lot to girls not wearing titties because Candy Muse will do his turn outfits, and then I'm like, girls can't do that. And I'll see Candy Muse, and I'm like, that one actually looks really good. I don't think they can't do it. You don't wear titties a lot. It's not true. I probably I wear titties with everything if they're not built into my outfit. With everything? Like once in a blue, I won't. But nine times out of ten, I have titties on. I I always wear titties, especially since I don't pad yeah, you anymore. You better get tagged in a bunch of pictures you wear no titties on. Especially since I don't pad anymore, I try my best to like balance it out with titties. Is like when the Viv says she never wears blue? No. Well, I I, I, I don't never ever wear it not titties, I'm saying, but most nine times out of ten, I have titties on. Let's move on to uh, Trinity the Tuck. Um, I like her Vanna White very that's much. That's great. It's a it's a little ornate for Vanna White. Because Vanna White usually wears a gown that's a little more simple than this. It's usually like one fabric. But this this is like, I don't think I've ever Vanna White wear like something this heavily stunned, but she still looks really good though. I think with her, with this, I think Trinity, Trinity's always going to take whatever it is and make it drag. And I think this is her taking Vanna White and making it drag. And having that like, that crunchy hair like 80s vanna white hair i think trinity is vanna white she, this, she nailed it she looks great and her rupaul uh charles the second i don't know who charles the second was i'm guessing he's some english he's uh an english king right yeah to the era yeah y'all 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 old buddies he's a king of england everyone when knows. I don't know when, but he's a king of England. Right, so I, said, I, was, I literally said, I don't know who Charles II is. I'm guessing he's some king from England is what I'm I was saying. I'm just shocked that you didn't know that Charles II was a king, was a king of England. That's so interesting. Because when, when Michelle said, who knows Charles II, I was like, everyone knows Charles II was the king of England. I, my literal thought was, everyone knows that Charles II was a king of England, like King George. 
Everyone knows oh, that King George was the king of England. Go off. Good for you. He I was, did not know that. You know, I mean, I, I well, was using... I George used, is also named after George. I used deductive reasoning to figure it out. Like, I, by what she's wearing and how they were talking about it. Like, oh, she's probably some 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 European king. Probably so, English. So and also the name. Um, Charles. Uh, but I... And I... I guess it's missing the RuPaul. I'm getting, I'm getting Charles II, but I'm just missing RuPaul. To no, me. this this uh skirt is uh is RuPaul wore a skirt like that literally. It's literally that skirt. It's a for great. What? It's a for for drag. I'm saying for like what like on Drag Race like a, a thing like where, where where would I know it from? She wore it on Drag Race. Uh, if you look up pictures of RuPaul, um, it's, it's like it's like it's like one of her most popular ones. RuPaul. If you type in RuPaul big gown, um. There it is. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. I don't that's remember almost. This. That's almost in it. She almost got it exact to the colors and everything. It looks really good. Got it. Um, but uh, I, but that being said, I I, I do think it, RuPaul. I mean RuPaul Charles Manson, RuPaul Charlie oh, Brown, great. RuPaul um, RuPaul Revere, um, you know. Yeah, um, RuPaul is short. I wonder why she went with Paul Charles II. That's so. That seems so random. She was like, "Oh, I got it. RuPaul, RuPaul Giamatti." <laughs> I got it, Charles II. Like, just seems like such a weird place to land. Are you just not getting it? No, I oh. get it. I'm saying <laughs> I, did, I, I did like a Trinity like in her thing. She's like, I'm gonna do RuPaul Charles the Second. Like I'm like, what about Charles the Second? She was like really excited about it. It just seems so strange. Yeah, I I I would not have combined these two. I think RuPaul Revere, Ru uh, RuPaul Lee Shore, um, RuPaul RuPaul Adine. <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, and her her and her, then RuPaul could say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> her third look nailed it this was so hot this it was great very good i wish that she didn't um cover up the because she looked like she did some really intricate work on the neckline oh, she, she covered, covered up, up with, with jewelry. a massive necklace I yeah wish she hadn't done that yeah and trinity's always gonna take it and make it drag and then the fact that she got red and she practiced fucking red hair and it all worked out this is so hot and now she fucking cut this thing onto her body and she made the fucking riding crop she made the mask trinity she made the this bitch better work this looks really good. Her yeah. body looks so good. And she added the tool to the bottom of the. This is a grape. She did a very, very good job. Yeah, very good job. Trinity, good job. Trinity the Tuck. Um, which look is your favorite? My f- all of these looks. Which one's your favorite? My favorite look of all of these looks. I'm gonna well, have. Let's, let's go one by one. Your favorite Vanna White. Her Vanna White would be. I'm gonna say Trinity. My favorite Vanna White was Raja's. Raja. Okay, what about who's your favorite before and after? Scroll through them again. My favorite before and after is I'm going to go with Jada Essence Hall. Oh, yeah, Bag Lady. I'm going to go with. I also like Jinxes too. Favorite before and after. I'm going to go with Evie. I, I like, think it's so I like, smart. I like Evie's concept the most, but I don't know. Evie's is good too. So Evie's might. I don't know. Evie might be up there too. Evie, I actually, it is Evie. Evie was, was my favorite one. I loved this one. I actually laughed. The first time I saw it, I actually laughed out loud. Yeah, Evie is my favorite before and after. And my favorite makeover is going to be Trinity's. Trinity fucking nailed it. That's so good. That's so good. My favorite one is Raja's. Raja looks insane to me. This, I don't even know how, I could not even begin to figure out how she did this in the sleeve. This bang, she looks so good in the bang. She looks App so fucking lootly said. I'm, I, I will not stop saying it. Raja gets fashion better than, in my opinion, better than any girl who's ever been on Drag Race. She just gets it at a core level. She's also been working in the industry for two decades, mm-hmm. over two decades now, um, in fashion, and she just, she really gets it. She's amazing. Yeah, I think it, I, for me, I just I think the styling and how she went and how it just all looks so good and her body looks so good and the fact that she made this so fucking quick and she was helping other people. Trinity really, 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 really did it for me. Um, Bravo, bitch. On the runway, Jinx said, I don't know if RuPaul was kidding, but she said that Jinx has never looked more glamorous. I mean, I was like, but it's weird because in the first episode, Jinx looked insane. That runway on the first episode was bananas. And it just weird to me to envision Jinx, RuPaul thinking about Jinx and her crown, crown, crowning look, 
and in this look and being like, this is the most glamorous I've ever seen you. But maybe she was kidding because everyone, because they, Jinx did laugh, but Jinx always laughs. Like, no, I think Ru- RuPaul was sincere when he said it. Ru- 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 RuPaul said it several times. He also said, like, when she was in, um, what was the thing? In her Dolly Parton look, he's like, oh my goodness, you've, you've never been more gorgeous. You really are. As Dolly? As Dolly. But it's just that she looks so good in her crap. Anyway, teach her own, right? Yeah. Um, and when Jinx, oh my goodness. Oh, I also when Jinx like, this is my one weakness. Uh, I bet she was gagged when an- another fucking design challenge round the corner. Bitch, it's another design challenge. Do you know where that's from? You know what 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 overture that is? Yes, it's William Tell overture. I think I just. Ooh, niggas is cultured over here. You have well, some bumpkin bitch from uh, Andalusia, yeah. Alabama. Don't know, don't know shit. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, okay. So, do you do you did you agree with the tops? Do you, do you agree it was? No, I, I would have taken out Trinity and put in Raja. Really? I just that gold look really just turned so, okay, me so, inside out. So it you, really did. So you think her? Okay, let's do the average you did earlier. Her Vanna White pass. Best, her, not her, pass. Best, the best. It was if if if, if, if no, I, I'm talking about Trinities. Trinities. Let's go back and look at Trinities. I give them a scale of one to eight, meaning it's ranked amongst all the queens. So one is the worst one, eight is the best one. Um, I would give uh, I would give uh, Trinity a seven on the panel. Uh, I also liked um, uh, Lil, uh, Lil Mama, um, Jada Essence Hall as well. Her panel was really good. Um, I would give Trinity a six seven on the Vanna White scale. On the uh, before and after, I'd give her like a three if I'm ranking her amongst all the girls. And her um, final look, I'd give her a seven. And then you give Raja eight one eight. So then, so they average out the same. I'm picking Raja. What do you want from me? I like Raja's look more. I just that that gold look is just it. It just this just looks like what it is to me is that this gold look. For me, it goes, it is amazing drag, but it goes beyond, it looks like some insane fashion thing. This is, it just looks so creative and inventive. I've, I've never, I don't, I've never seen, I've, I haven't seen much like this. Like, I don't have any frame of reference, especially for drag race for this specific look. Um. Okay, so you would have put Raja and Jada as the top two? Yeah. Hmm. Because Jada's, Jada's look was really good, too. I can't even believe she made that there look so good. I would definitely put Trin, and I think, yeah, Trin and Jada. I, th- I think Trin and Jada were were the right ones to me. Also, also, um, the way that Trinity also you also forget this too. The way that Trinity sells garments on the runway, I think the way that Trinity sold her 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 King George shit, King Charles look, RuPaul shit. She ran and she went and she d- did the reveal. So I think Trinity, there's that level. This is similar to Monique on season ten. Monique would look crazy. The outfits would look a mess, but she could sell the garment. She could sell the look on the on, on the main stage. It was great. She was really good at that. So Trinity looked good and she's selling it even more, in my opinion. Work. And um, so they end up lip syncing against each other and um the women- To Beyonce. Get to Beyonce. Get the green light. <laughs> um and uh Jada Essence Hall ends up winning this lip sync. This is Trinity's second lip sync that she lost. I know. First one because her wigs slip, and the second one she ran into Jada's ass. She's trying to she's trying to rim Jada on the runway. It's kind of hot. Yeah, that's a lot of like sex with Trinity on the runway. On the you and her. Oh yeah, when I, I fucked forgot her. that whole. When I <laughs> fucked her. Um and um Jada Essence Hall decided to block Jinx Mun soon. Hello world, I'm Jinx Mun Coon. <laughs> And with that being said, Jinx is Thank receiving her joining her first on this episode. Her first uh, block. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Fucking would you have watchery? Thank would you, you for watching? This is crazy, uh, nigga. Like you don't be up here, boy. Sh- sh- shut your ass up. Now, would you? And then Miss Jen, maybe this is. Did you agree? This is wild. Do you agree with Jada blocking Jinx? I can't even live like this. Yes. Jinx shit got blocked a long time ago. Yeah, just this is Jinx's first block. Blockiana. Can I say that the Bust block shouldn't have been a plunger? It should have been a big necklace. 
with a circle and an X through it, and they just put it on them, or you just hold it over their face, and then then they wear the necklace, and it's like like a flavor flav cloth. Oh, you asked the, the patrons that question. Did you just give us any tabs? Bass asks, did they make Vanna want to stand the whole time? I mean, for the one-way portions. And I, I don't think she was standing there while we were changing from look to look. I think that when we did our runways, she stood up there. They made her. And if she sat down, <laughs> Pat Sajak would come out. <laughs> yeah, she didn't stand the whole time. She was just there for our runways. She did not stay there the entire time. Have you heard the rumors that RuPaul wasn't... Have you heard the rumors... That RuPaul didn't do this correct season of Down Under. Oh, yeah, like, that he's, like, fake. There's rumors that he's a, either a deep fake or a green screen in. I know. And then one of the judges was like, can you guys stop? <laughs> one, of one, the judges, of the judges? one of the judges of Down Under was like, can you stop? RuPaul was there. This is ridiculous. S- s- please stop. We, we were sitting right next to each other. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> stop. Was it the guy? One of the judges. The other guy, yeah. Um, Lloyd asks, how quickly does Trinity sew? Trinity is a very fast team, seamstress. She sews very quickly. Can you quantify it, please? How long uh, does it take to make this, this garment? It took her, I mean, <laughs> which I don't know. The, the first day, you have about eight hours to work on your garment, and she probably made it, I would say, in five. So she didn't do any work on the second day? She was like making her props and she was helping people. <laughs> so, it, it, so when you're on Drag Race, you roughly have 12 hours to make every, every each, mm-hmm. each, each sewing challenge is roughly 12 hours. You get eight hours the first day, and the next day you come back in the morning, and you have about three hours. No, 11 hours. You have three hours to get ready and finish your outfit if you need to. Yeah. Um, and that's that on episode three of All-Star Season 7. Woo! Thank you all. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week for episode four, Fairy Tale Justice. Just us. It'll be just us. Or maybe not. We'll have a guest.